How's it feel to be an all-star starter? Uh, feels great. Uh, you know, said it earlier, it's nothing that I ever, uh, you know, in a sense want to get used to um, that I never take for granted, you know, while I, you know, may have expected to, to make the team. Um, you know, I, I never want to take it for granted, you know, uh, you know, it's an honor. And it's just something I dreamed about as a kid. Um, so to, to be named the all-star starter today meant a lot. Um, and I, w- I was very excited, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. You had obviously the fast start um, early on, then kind of like a quiet stretch, and then took over in the end of the fourth there. How do you balance um, kind of the flow of a game when to – take charge and, and, you know, take over and then uh, getting other guys involved or letting, letting things come to you? Um, I don't it's, it's not It's not like a direct answer. It's, um, just kind of the flow of the game, um, finding your rhythm and, you know, finding certain spots to be a little bit more aggressive than others. Um, that's kind of a vague answer, but just kind of the mindset from game to game and things like that. And then your, your shot at the end of regulation looked like you got a pretty clean look. You kind of walks through that play a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, I felt like if I would have caught a screen, it was going to double. Uh, so I, I, yeah, I kind of just waved everybody down uh, and, you know, made a move, got to my spot, and uh, rattled in and out. But, uh, you know, it felt good and, and, you know, thought it was a good one. Jason, you always said just move on to the next one, but – when you're in a position like you were able, to, you couldn't make that shot to to win the game in regulation, or Jalen misses the two free throws. How do you kind of take that and use it as fuel, or what do you do when it comes down to a moment like that and, and you don't come through? Because it's obviously you know this game is humbling. Yeah, uh, it's tough. Very we down, you know, gave ourselves a chance in overtime to come back and win. You know, and we came up short. Uh, you know, we wanted to win. We played hard at points. We played like we're supposed to at times of the game. Uh, you know, just not enough of those moments. But um, yeah, you know, we lost tonight three in a row. Uh, you know, we gotta get back on track, get a win. But uh, you know, it's a balance. You know. All things considered, we still got the best record, and you know we've still had an amazing year. Uh, so those game, those times when we won nine straight, uh, you know you don't get too excited, and when you lose three in a row, you don't get too too down on yourself. You, uh, you just mentioned you guys have obviously had a great year, still leading the league uh, in wins, still in top five in offense and defense. So over the last few weeks, you guys have seen your offense efficiency slip a little bit. You've, I know you've had a bunch of guys in that lineup and different things. Joe mentioned earlier there might be some maybe lacking in folks' attention to detail at times. What do, you, do you have any sense of why you think you guys have struggled a bit compared to where you were at such a high level at the start of the year offensively? Uh, you know, I'm – I don't claim to be like the smartest guy in the room, even though I did go to Duke. Um, but, you know, when it goes down to like, you know, offensive efficiency numbers and things like that, uh, which they do, they do matter and they do play a part. But sometimes if you break it down the top five offenses, right, you know, sometimes the difference between the best offense and the 14th best offense may be like two points or, you know, four points in the course of a game. That's a couple, you know, missed layups and threes. Um, and I just think, you know, our last couple of games, like tonight, uh, you know, 41% from the field. Um, don't know what we shot against Miami and Orlando, but, um, you know, Golden State, we shot 38%. Uh, so, you know, late in the game, we got some good looks. Um, and then they just didn't fall. So uh, I feel like we've we still been playing the right way. We've still been playing with sense of purpose and, and, and pace. Um, you know, sometimes that shit just don't go in. It's as easy as that. And uh, obviously, just been ahead a little bit. You guys are going to have LeBron and the Lakers here on Saturday. You obviously went seven games with him as a rookie in the conference finals when he was in Cleveland. 
How much did the experience that you and Marcus and Jalen had going up against him early in your career kind of help you guys with obviously the run you guys had last year, the run you want to have this year, and kind of the experience you've built over time going deep into the playoffs like you guys have? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think especially, you know, that was my first year in the league. Uh, so just to, to go deep in the playoffs like that, go to game seven, uh, you know, we were battle tested. And, uh, you know, I think gaining that experience in my first year uh, has really, you know, helped me out and helped our team out a lot. Because uh, we've been in big moments, uh, you know, we've succeeded a lot of times in big moments and, you know, we've come up, we've come up short. Um, but we've been able to um, learn from and, and take something from each playoff series, each time we went, you know, conference finals three, four times in the finals last year. Uh, you know, so we've been in a number of big games. Um, and I think just getting, gaining that early experience, uh, you know, can only help you, you know, in the present time now and, you know, for the future. Jason, you just referenced you playing playing well, but not for the whole game. Joe kind of talked about guys getting bored with some of the finer points. Um, how do you keep that consistency up throughout the course of a game? You guys caught out to a 15-point lead, and it seemed like you kind of cruised for a little while before you realized, okay, now's the time to turn this, flip the switch back and, and turn it on down the stretch. Yeah, I think uh, human nature plays a part. And, you know, I think basketball is just a game of runs. You know, we came out swinging early. You know, they responded. Uh, and come out of halftime, they came out swinging. And, you know, it took us a while, but we responded late. Uh, you know, I, I, that's, and at, towards the end, it was just two physical basketball teams, you know, giving it all they got. Uh, you know, and obviously they came up on top. But, uh, you know, I think uh, – Coming out in the third quarter, we could have done better, you know, to start the second half. Uh, we were a little flat, but, you know, basketball is just a game of runs. Uh, you know, it's the NBA. They got talented guys, you know, well coached. You know, they're going to make plays and make shots. It's just a matter of, you know, answering them um, and not kind of let it snowball like we did tonight. Um, and then we just tried to have to make something happen late in the game and in overtime. Do you say anything to Jalen? Do you need to? Um, I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, needs a, a pick me up. But uh, you know, we we got the most utmost confidence in him. Uh, you know, I can't bet on NBA games, but you know, I would bet everything I got. He was in that situation again. He would knock them both down. So uh, you know, just short term memory. Move on and uh, get ready for Saturday. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.